What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. I know that Brady, come on. Okay, lay down. I thought I could just have a little chit chat with y'all about kind of what's been going on lately, more so with me, because I haven't been really motivated to film or edit or upload as much as I love this channel and we have been putting out some videos. I've just been feeling a bit down on myself lately and I think this kind of translates into YouTube from the more broad life perspective. I've just been dealing with a lot of self-doubt. Uh, I do have anxiety which a lot of y'all know that I openly talk about usually on social media and I think a lot of that has fed into me feeling a lot of negativity and self-doubt towards myself. I'm not quite sure when or why exactly this started but I've just been kind of struggling lately to find motivation to film um, anything for, for YouTube because I, I'll start to film something and then I feel like it's boring, I feel like you guys won't like it, I feel like, I just, I just feel like it's not, I don't know, it's just kind of a lack of enthusiasm for it and so that's why I've been stepping back from it just a little bit because I'm trying to kind of refocus, shift my mindset gather my thoughts again um, so we can just keep putting out the videos that I love to put out. So I think that a lot of a lot of self-doubt does come from a comparison and this is something I've always dealt with. I'm kind of a competitive person but being competitive it also makes me compare myself to others and compare my own journey to others. And so seeing, following and seeing all of these amazing travel channels and family RV channels and just RV channels in general and all these people traveling and doing all these amazing things and seeing all this beautiful scenery and we went to Colorado in May and then we went to Vegas and now we're just sitting in the rain. Um, <laughs> I, I think a lot of it has to do with that because I found myself comparing my own journey to other people's and that quote, I think it's Theodore Roosevelt said, comparison is a thief of joy. And that is so true because not only in my YouTube journey, but in my fitness and health journey, I have done this to myself time and time again. And I always, I always get over it. I always get past it. Don't worry. But I do find myself comparing my journey to other people's and I feel like mine is insignificant because I'm looking at the grass being greener on the other side and I forget to see how lush and beautiful and green our grass is. Literally it's so green right now because of all the rain but I forget to take account of all of the beautiful things that we have growing in our garden because I'm busy staring at somebody else's garden. Um, so I thought I would share this with you guys. I don't know maybe if one of you guys finds this helpful I think it's worth it to put that message out there. This is what I've always done on social media and on YouTube especially back whenever it was a fitness channel. I always tried to be open and honest with you guys. So here I am. And I guess this I can't really I can't really make this video without talking about this point. Um, because I know I think that a lot of it does stem from something I've gone through this year. Um, I've had two miscarriages this year. And I know to a lot of you guys this is going to be a shocker um, because we've not talked about having kids. We've not really talked openly online or to you guys or to family and friends in general um, about having kids. But it's been something in the more recent years uh, that we have talked about and have been wanting to start a family. And so um, I actually had my first miscarriage the day before we left for Colorado. I found out the Wednesday before we left. We left on a Sunday. I found out that Wednesday and started to have a miscarriage on Saturday. And I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been following the channel uh, since then, I was really sick whenever we left for Colorado. I actually had a combination of allergies, that's why my voice is gone, but I also was going through that. And to go through something like that and 
not really be open about it and to talk you know I talked to Matt about it and I told my mom eventually um, but I didn't realize how heartbreaking it would be And this is one of those things I feel like it's kind of like anxiety. Um, not a lot of people talk about it because it's one, you go through this excitement of finding out that you're pregnant and wanting to tell everybody and then as quickly as you find out that's when you lose it. Um, so luckily I have the most amazing husband. <laughs> I hope that I can get all of this out to you guys. Um, I have the most amazing husband who is supportive and caring and loving. And I would not have been able to get through that with without him. Um, and also the trip to Colorado definitely helped because going through something like that but then having the excitement and the adventure of our travel, um, it was really nice. It was kind of distracting. And it was also a reminder that we are together and we have a wonderful life that I'm so thankful for. So it's kind of bittersweet because on the one hand, um, it's a heartbreaking thing to go through, but it's also a reminder of how lucky and how blessed we are um, so I think that a lot of the struggle that I've been going through has been related to that, and I think that that's led me to be down on myself, and then I kind of spiral. So <laughs> that's what I tend to do, is I, I spiral out of control once my, my anxiety kind of gets a hold of me. It has a snowball effect. So I think that a lot of that, I've been holding up a lot of emotion, dealing with that, and then, you know, now Matt has a ton of stuff going on in his work, and he's actually starting a new business venture, which is really, really cool and really exciting. Um, but it's also, um, he's also needing to spend more time here and at home. And so we haven't been able to travel since we went to Vegas, which was only a month ago, but it's still, um, you know, in, in the YouTube world, it's a long time. And so, I think that there's just been a whole lot of mixture of things going on that's led me to feel less significant than I really am. Um, so I just wanted to open up to you guys about this and I know that, again, possibly me talking about it, if it can help one person, that's worth it to me. And talking about it is cathartic for myself, it helps me to just get the emotions out. Um, and then of course connecting with other people that have been through struggles of their own, seeing how they've overcome it, uh, is immensely helpful. So I just, I guess I just wanted to put this video out there to be open with you guys. That's something that we have tried to and will continue to do as long as we are on YouTube until they kick us off. <laughs> um, everything else is great. I mean... Everything else is, I could not be happier with everything that Matt is doing with his businesses and just our life here and our family and our friends and um, my, one of my sisters, um, one of my sisters is pregnant again and she's due in May. So our family's growing and there's so many amazing things going on and I just kind of lost sight of it because of a little rain cloud that was hovering over us for a while, kind of like it is here in Texas. Um, but the storms pass, and eventually, because of all of the rain, um, we grow back even stronger and the grass becomes even more green. So I think that's all I'm going to put out there for today. It's kind of a lot, but thank you guys for listening. Um, I Again, 
I hope that this reaches the right person. I just felt compelled to share this today with you guys. Love you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you. If any of you guys out there are struggling with something, just know that the storms do pass. And we are strong and we can get through them. Especially if you don't do it alone. So don't be afraid to reach out to others for help. Friends, family, people on the internet, whoever you need to, um, you are loved. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Since Matt's not here to say it, I will say it. Have fun out there.